Well, good morning. Uh, behind me we have our pole barn, and as you can see, it's only halfway finished. We put poles in the ground a couple years ago. Last year we finally got half of it done, and so this year we're getting the other half done. We're looking forward to having uh, a completed roof structure to come in out of the nasty weather in the wintertime and do some projects, do some work. It's taken a long time to get to this point uh, just because we've been working on our cabin, demoing that room by room. We've been trying to get the cabin to a, a nice livable point and I think we're there. We still have some more stuff to do in there. My wife Dee Dee and I had a conversation the other day. The inside of the house is, is to a, a, a nice enough point where I think we're going to shift focus uh, for a couple months uh, before the bad weather comes to try and get this roof in uh, good working order. So that's our goal and that's our plan. We appreciate you guys coming along with us on this journey as we're trying to make our way in, uh, in this crazy life. The middle, the very middle one. Push up high. All right, I got all my two by 12s up for the roofing. I'll string a bunch of two by sixes between them as uh, kind of as purlins. Uh, to nail to for the plywood and that will get us kind of one step closer to starting to sheet this thing So I think I'm gonna call it for today a lot of work getting those 2 by 12s cutting up and and up and down the ladder up and down the ladder up and down the ladder so I'm um, glad to have those up though. That's kind of the the most monumental part of the uh, of doing the roof the other stuff's uh, becomes a little bit easier and a little bit easier each time so um, the big parts done So I like to overbuild stuff, um, that's just what I do. But as you can see, we have essentially a two by 12 truss here. Two by 12, two by 12 post, and then back the other way. Very, very strong, lots of load bearing capacity. Uh, I only wanted to build it once. All right, it's a new day. Uh, Didi gave me a uh, trim, so. <laughs> Feeling a little lighter. A couple pounds of hair gone, so that's always a good thing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a rest from pole barn for the moment, and we're gonna go work on fence posts. Uh, I was coming up the road the other day, and there's a bunch of free range cows that are coming down. Usually September, uh, weather starts to get a little cooler in the evenings, and uh, those free range cows like to come down. So if you've been with the channel for any amount of time, uh, you know every year we have problems with cows coming and uh, tearing things up around the property. So since the cows uh, just come across the cattle guard, uh, we've had to do some additional fencing uh, just, just on our property. So I got one small section left to do. Uh, the neighbors were gonna do it a while ago. They brought all the materials uh, last year and uh, they just been sitting there. Uh, I think they got busy and, and forgot about it. So. so we're gonna go ahead, dig some holes, put those in the ground so that uh, they're protected and we're protected. All right, this is the road coming to the property. This is fence post. Uh, on this side over here, we have our gate. Uh, basically, we just need to run two fence posts uh, in the middle between uh, between the, that post down there and up here. So, just gonna measure the distance, uh, cut it into chunks there, and uh, dig a couple holes. Pretty simple. Well, using my breaking bar and just chipping my way through rocks. It's been about a half hour and I'm about a foot down on the first hole, so. Slow going, we got a lot of rocks in this property. 
and uh, we, we had a post hole digger for our tractor, but when we did the pole barn, but um, we ended up having to dig almost all on by hand anyways, because there's just so many rocks that just it just chatter all over the place and you couldn't keep it lined up anyway, so. <sighs> I guess I'll keep breaking rocks apart and see how far I can get down in here. All right, about an hour in and uh, the hole's getting wider, but I ain't getting any deeper. Just hitting more rocks, more rocks, more rocks. Been breaking them up with a sledgehammer and the breaking bar. Um, so I think I'm just gonna bag the posts uh, and put some T-posts in, cause that's gonna be much simpler. Well, I didn't want to attach it to their nice post, so I just kind of T-post next to it. This one's at an angle for support because we're pulling against it. And I'm just wrapping it around the uh, notches on that side. We'll see if we can slide nothing down. Wrap it around and then uh, go back on itself a little bit. And uh, we'll be able to pull plenty of tension on that. Well, I can't find my fencing pliers. I must have left them maybe by a fence somewhere. Maybe in 100 years, somebody will find them and go, hey, what are these? Okay, so uh, gonna use some fencing staples. Get this thing situated. the next strand. All righty, we've got T-post, three strands of wire. Um, so we are locked in. I need to put a latch for the gate here on this post. Then we can keep the gate shut and hopefully have no cows this summer. So that'll be nice. All right, got a gate latch on here. It's not pretty. It's a gate latch for like um, chain link fences. So I just got it lagged into the side here, but it worked. So we are completely protected now against uh, ornery free range cows that want to come down and uh, tear everything up. Unless they get real destructive and, uh, and decide to push through some of the uh, fencing, but overall, feels pretty good. Alrighty, snapped the string line down there, just make sure everything's in line and got everything cut to length. So 
Still got a notch in because we're doing a two by six fascia. So those two by 12s look actually get notched so they look like a two by six on the end. One step closer. I am running out of materials. I'll slap up what I got and then I need to order a bunch more stuff. <laughs> that is really funny tacked a nail in there to hold that in place so i could pull my ladder down and i just uh, you know nailed my ladder in place up there that's pretty cool <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking I, I meant to put my ladder up there stick it up on the top rung to uh to hold it in place while i did the other end and currently slid it through them and didn't catch it Oh well, you win some, you lose some, in spectacular fashion. So I need to take stock of uh, what I still need. I have quite a bit of plywood left for sheeting. Uh, I bought enough originally to do the whole thing, but I ended up decking uh, a 12 by 12 bay over there for storage. So used up part of that, I'm, I'll be really close on the plywood. I need a whole bunch of two by sixes. Uh, the original plan was a more traditional type of uh, pull barn and so I didn't order it in my original lumber kit um, and of course lumber's gone up a lot in the last few months so I'm uh, I think I need about another six seven hundred dollars worth of two by sixes to finish this out and uh, two by twelves to to finish the uh, front fire blocking there well I guess we'll have to end the video here I'm out of materials so I got to go count uh, up how many boards I need and place an order so Thanks for coming along with us, guys. We will catch you on the next one.